Yo, 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 Tony from LearnAutoBodyInPaint.com. And a lot of my subscribers, you guys have been asking me about updates on the moped project. And uh, some of the guys on my newsletter have been asking me about this Advantage Clear that I used recently. Uh, and I want to give you the results on that because I just painted my uh, the 98 moped Honda project this morning. Yesterday I based it. Uh, I had to wait overnight because I just didn't want to clear at night because of the bugs and stuff. So I cleared it around 10.30 this morning and I was done around, holy shit, <laughs> I was done around 11.30, about an, an hour after I cleared it. It's a big ass moth flying around in here. Anyway, I want to show you the results of that and I think it came out pretty good. It's right over there. Uh, and I'm going to show you that clear as well. And I had to epoxy a couple of things because uh, in my other videos, this will be in the VIP course, this Miata project here. I had to re-epoxy this section here because when you're using epoxy and you got, uh, it has those tips that you put on here, right? You have to waste the first, I would say, tablespoon of epoxy because that stuff, although it looks like, let me show you, let me show you what I got in here. Although it looks like it mixes well, right? Although it looks like it mixes well, because it goes through those little channels in here, right? It still comes out. Right when it comes out, you have to waste about a tablespoon. So keep this in mind. This is a, a super important tip because you don't want to mess up like I did. I've never had that problem before, but I think you'll be, you'll be on the safe side if you waste. So I had to redo this area here with epoxy. Um, and the other thing I had to redo was this little, this uh, tab here was broken, so I had to epoxy this. I thought it was completely missing, but it was actually on the scooter. All right, so I'm epoxying this so I can put this panel on tomorrow. Uh, you could see the, I did a, a, a yellow with a red pearl, a little bit of gold pearl and silver flake. And I, I even signed it, I put my name in there. Came out really nice though. I'll show you the, the moped in just a bit, let's see. Uh, anyway, I think the Advantage Clear is pretty good. Not bad, it has a nice gloss to it. We'll see in a week how it looks, but if it needs a little buff, then you know we could water sand it with a 2000 grit lightly and buff it out. But you know, it looks really nice. In the sun, this thing looks mean, really does. I got the red pearl in it. I don't know if you could see the red pearl with this camera. There's a red pearl in it. You could see the flames that I did with it. All right, so I, I did the purple up in the front. I did these little caps purple in the front. Uh, I plasti dipped all the rims flat black. Because I, I just wanted to leave the bottom of the bike like a flat black. This piece I still have to plasti dip uh, flat black. Uh, the rims are all done. Other than that, all in here I did with SEM uh, bumper paint. I just did all of this this morning. This thing was in pieces this morning. So uh, it only took me a couple of hours. I banged it, put it all together, and I was riding it around the neighborhood today uh, with the half panel on it. This side, uh, you know. I'm waiting for that piece to dry, but I did the muffler piece purple. So I got the bottom pieces purple, right? I also signed it, pretty cool. It came out really nice. I think this clear is not bad at all. Uh, you can see, let's see. So we got, we got the purple here. Um, I had this red, so it turned into like a fuchsia. And then as we go up, it turns into an orange in here. And this is all pinstripe, okay? I did a pinstripe over it because actually I, I kind of effed up on it. Um, but you don't see that it effed up now. But I did eff up on it when I was actually doing it. Because when I was taking a fine line tape off, I used a cheap primer under it. Because I just wanted to see, you know, let's just bang it out. Instead of doing a 2K primer, I used a rattle can primer. But don't worry, all these... All the, the things that I did, the goof ups and the screw ups, everything here is gonna be in the VIP course step by step. I'm just showing you the bike, how it turned out. All right, so I was able to hide all, cause when I took off the fine line tape for the uh, flames here, some of the base coat started coming off, like the yellow base coat. And I was like, oh, freaking, 
you know, I was all in a sweat. So I was like, shit, the only way to, to hide it is to pinstripe it. So last night I pinstriped everything in my living room watching it while I was watching TV. And then this morning I just put clear on it. So it came out really nice. I mean, you could obviously feel it, but it feels cool. If you want to get rid of this feel, you could sand it, water sand it with like 1500 and I would put two more coats of clear on it. But I mean, I don't have to do that. I'm not looking to do that. I think it feels cool, it looks cool. And that's all I'm looking for. Even this side here. Let me move this, turn this bike around. So that's how, so. This is how it looks on the side. I did a purple here, and then just to red toward the back. Purple to red. This, you know, this area was purple, red to orange, kinda. I didn't. I wasn't able to get the orange here because I used the purple to fade into red. Uh, and then it looks pretty cool. So it's it's uh, it came out freaking awesome. I think it looks hot. I was <laughs> driving it around the neighborhood today, and uh, a lot of my neighbors were like giving me a thumbs up. This young kid was screaming out the window of his car. He's like, "Nice bike." <laughs> anyway, I think it came out pretty cool. So the the whole idea was to have the right the flame go toward the right side of the bike. All right, so the flame goes to toward the right side. The right side is flamed out here, and then this side is gonna be, you know, no flames. The right side, well, more like the left side. So this side's gonna come on, we're gonna have no flames here, just a little signature of mine. Uh, and then, you know, no, nothing on the top. I was thinking of doing a little bit of flames on the top, but I was like, now nah, leave it yellow. And then this side, you know, nothing really. So that's the whole deal. I think it came out pretty cool looking. It's an eye catcher right now. And uh, that's about it. So I'll give you a full video once it's completely done. I still have to put the cover up in here. And I also have to put the bottom pieces in. And then uh, that's basically it. So if you want to learn how to do all this kind of cool stuff on your mopeds or motorcycles or cars or whatever you're working on, Check out LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com right now to get a free 85-page auto body and paint manual. Uh, I think it'll help you out a lot. You're going to get a lot of tips. Plus, you'll be signed up to my newsletter where I give you uh, tons of great information uh, you know, and free giveaways and just all that kind of cool stuff. All right, so it's Tony from Learn Auto Body and Paint. Check the site out, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.